friends welcome to my channel and uh, myself monica and today i will be talking about the basic uh, i will be discussing the mcqs uh, of 2012 paper of uh, paper one that is basic concept <coughs> genetics immune system and immunology so let's get started okay so the first question that we have today here is the which is correct regarding anatomical position of the body so for these two options are straight feet with toes apart straight body with hands facing medially standing straight and straight body with the palm facing forward and hand close to trunk so before going to options let's just know what is the correct standing <coughs> anatomical position uh, so I have written here that it is standing straight with the eyes looking forward. So you will stand straight and your eyes will look forward. Both arms by the side of your body, palms facing forwards and both feet together. So let me tell you one thing. This question is not just important for you for your, um, what we say that uh, exam, but it also is important for your ragging yes during ragging your seniors are going to ask you to stand in anatomical position that's like i can compulsory in every medical school so you should know this question okay that is standing straight with eyes looking forward both arms by the side of body palms facing forward means like this your palm should face like this forward okay both feet together both feet will be together so this is the uh, this is all about the um, uh, anatomical position of the body so according to this the first correct answer the correct answer for question number one would be that straight body with palm facing forward and hands close to the trunk so let's check it is it right or not yes it's right one's answer is d now let's move to question number two that is the collagen fiber of your and cartilage is so the cartilage chapter is also very important one so you should know the difference between the fibrous hairline and elastic cartilage so i have mentioned here the differences between them which one is on appearance translucency covered by modified form ossification and collagen appearance so fibrous cartilage hairline cartilage and elastic so i guess you all know that elastic cartilage means like elastic fibers which are always yellow in color hairline means bluish white and fibrous is white cartilage fibers white fibers so white fiber so among these three so i'm not going to explain i know i will not explain anything because uh, we are you are finding out the answer of mcq so you i hope that you guys know the difference between i'm just repeating it here i have made this point you can copy it so uh, it is uh fibrous cartilage it is opaque hyaline cartilage it is translucent means it actually it can be uh, seen like it's like see-through and then after elastic fibers it is totally opaque and it is covered by the, the outer cover in fibrous cartilage is absent but it is based in that is perichondrium for cartilage which has perichondrium that is island cartilage and again uh, perichondrium is present in the elastic cartilage but it's absent in the island cartilage this also can be your uh, mcq question the next one it is modified form of collagenous connective tissue allural connective tissue and elastic connective tissue and ossification is only present in the yawline cartilage it is absent in both fibrous and elastic cartilage again this which in uh, which cartilage the there is ossification or something like that you know question can be made so it's very important point that where is ossification or not and collagen is present type 1 collagen in fibrous and hairline tissue whereas it is Dr. Kako collagen present are type 1, type 2, and type again type 1, type 2, and type 2 collagen. So, type 1 cartilage, type 1 collagen is only present in the fibrous one, and other, uh, other cartilage possesses type 2 cartilage. So, this is the difference between. I'm saying it's very, very fast because I didn't want to waste my time on a single question. So, I have to go through this uh, many, many questions. So, just I'm just you know making a summary in a very uh, fast way, I, as far uh, as a in a very fast way. I can so now the question number four that is the fate of the definitive yolk sac is so the fate of the yolk sac is obviously to be a god tube so the question number a is right answer so we have the option like god tube neural tube amniotic cavity and notochord so notochord neural tube um, they are made from the neural plate uh, ectoderm 
things and amniotic cavity obviously it's not a from york sac so gut tip is the one because uh, it's about york sac is a plus of like nutrients and everything so uh, the gut tip is the right answer for the definitive question number four question number five intercalated disc is found in so i think we all know that intercalated disc is found in the cardiac muscle so that's a very big peculiarity about the cardiac muscle that is one of the important you know like a uh, important uh, difference of cardiac muscle with the other kinds of muscle so why the endocalitic dip is present in the cardiac muscle and not other cases of muscle so why it is on the property of cardiac muscle that can be a question so for that you should know that intercalitic ticks okay it consists of the gap junctures and desmosomes which allows the heart muscle to contract in a wave like pattern so that the heart can pump so you know the our heart is organ which pumps home rhythmically which which is uh, which uh, pumps in a pattern okay that's important is traveling in a pattern so for all those things you know you have to have a nice gap junctions there should be nice connectivity between the cells and this intercalated disc is like the gap junction and a small jump which helps which allows the heart to pump in a nice pattern so that because of which um it is present in the heart because of its pumping function now for the question number say uh, no question number six that is ureter and urinary bladder are lined by so ureter and urinary bladder means it's, it's, it's about stretching okay so the one that helps to, to them the the <clears throat> epithelium that helps for stretching and accumulating is the transitional epithelium so the uh, so the correct answer for question number six is a so uh, you have the other options like like this uh, stratified squamous keratinized cerebral epithelium and stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium so um uh, on the this um what we say that cuboidal epithelium they are usually not for not found in this ureter and urinary bladder so for for a question like this you know what i say that suggest is that you go through your book and you read the functions and location of this epithelium then in that way you'll understand which uh, which one falls in uh, which category otherwise you know by just by looking at the question you won't be able to solve because there are so many examples uh, of uh, where transitional epithelium is found there are so many examples where stratified squamous keratinized is found there's other options are found so you have to go through a book read it once because this is very important topic this is is really important this is really important for your theory this is really important for your practicals everywhere so go and study in depth about this epithelium location and their functions okay now question number seven that which is correct about the lymph node so lymph node uh you know in the, the thing about a uh, lymph node is that we well, have let's first quote the question brain lymph directly from tissue has afferent lymph channels has efferent lymph channels only has both afferent inferent lymph channels so you have to learn the diagram of the lymph nodes i haven't right uh, made a diagram here because it will just take time and i have to go through so many of the topic so go to the diagram in your histology book and there you will see that in the lymph node there are both efferent and the afferent afferent means to um come and efferent me to go to so they are both efferent and afferent channels in the lymph node so because of this you can see that it has both afferent and inferent lymph channel this is a very popular mcq uh in spleen there is only afferent lymph channels i think there is no efferent lymph channels so you have to uh, go through the uh, diagram of spleen lymph node tonsil and uh, thymus these are very very important questions on histology so go through them do a difference between them and make a nice answer uh, make a nice notes so this is all about the anatomy of the 2012 ku question paper now in the next video i will making about on the biochemistry so thank you for watching my video if you liked it please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you want more description on the mcq question or you are, then you you can just comment down in the comment section i will try to describe more okay so thank you bye